friend in this video i will show you how to install google earth pro in your desktop so first step is simple in google search bar type google earth pro and just click it will automatically shoot to new page where in the top most you can see earth version google earth so just click on this option it will automatically shoot to your official website of google earth here we can see three main version of Google Earth. First one is Google Earth on web, Google Earth on mobile, and third one, the most important, best for GIS purpose, Google Earth Pro on desktop. Among these, other products are Earth Engine, Earth Studio, Earth VR, and Earth Outreach. Click on Google Earth Pro desktop icon. After that, download Google Earth window appear. This is a, a license agreement. So just uh, click on agree, agree, agree and download. And when in download, it will automatically uh, download .exe file. And you can see thank you for downloading Google Earth Pro. It will take some time. It's very, very uh, few MB or very kb.exe file depend on your internet connection after that just click on .exe file or go to your uh, desired folder where it's saved when you click it will automatically connect to the internet connection and download its setup file automatically all setup file run run and install in your C drive particular Google Earth Pro folder after that when it complete the new window appear for close the setup after that go to your menu bar search google earth pro or just type google earth it will automatically uh, show the similar words or similar icon so just type google earth pro here is google earth pro icon just click on this or run as admin wait for some time for google earth desktop version open so this is the uh, gui yani, uh, means graphic user interface of google earth pro in the first step you can see the navi navi navigate in google earth pro this is a very uh, small window here you can see all basic help or basic step so for a beginner uh, i think you must read all the information in this window otherwise uh, you may close this window but uh, this is a very informative uh, information so you must read this information okay but uh, i will uh, later uh, show you every step every important step in this video which is very useful for you okay now close this window and use your magic fingers just right use your right click of mouse and you can spin entire earth with your fingertips you can uh, spin right left or using your mouse uh, ball to scroll up down zooming zoom out it's a very simple step, step google earth is very important for as a uh, gis beginner person or professional or any di discipline or a normal person who just want to, to see uh, where uh, where he live where is country where is the mountain where is the uh, ocean Malo, entire geography entire geomorphology in a very simple way in a very 3d view a 2d view so in this video i'll show a basic step very basic step nothing special but a few steps so maybe in in future you can use google pro in proper manner I'll show uh, another video step, step by step topic by topic so okay click on uh, help button 
you can see your version of google as pro if it is outdated you can update from this okay after that you can see the india boundary overlay on google earth so this is a very fantastic view so this is a very simple view so you can uh, add multiple layer multiple data or multiple shape file any vector data or jpg png geotiff uh, raster data you can add on this uh, google earth pro so simple go to the file option click on open and in the file name just click on drop down list of type of data uh, you can feed any kind of data basically most of uh, uh, gis data or raster or vector data you can overlay on google earth pro so here we can see some is recent file dot uh, png jpg geotiff tiff and other uh, other other gis format dot tab file uh, autocad file etc so when you select your file or if you don't know uh, what is the format of your file just click on all file format and browse your uh, data to your desired folder and just select that data if it appear in your uh, browser or, or your browse feature then you definitely click on that and it will automatically shoot to your google earth uh, gui and it will ask ki aapko kaise show karna aur kaise show nahi karna this is a very in a very simple way so when you just open your data it will automatically show to your particular area of interest or in a contour panel in your left hand side you can edit delete remove this layer so i am just showing a very simple way mostly uh, uh, mostly we said i'll show you in another video with detail now let's see how to save google image of any area so i'm just uh, focusing on particular area uh, i think this is hardwar hardwar in uttarakhand this is a ganga river i'm just showing a small patch or a small portion of that ganga river uh, you can you can uh, save this image in various kind of resolution so when you click on save on this is a uh, map layout appear where you can see legend uh, title map north arrow with uh, longitude and latitude grid and there are three type of uh, option of image gray scale monochromatic or or true color or you can say natural so here we have a uh 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 number of image quality 4k 4k ultra hd to uh, maximum so we can customize or uh, by default or we can go up to 4k ultra hd option so just click on uh, save option browse your folder where you can want to save your uh, image just uh, you can save your desktop or your any working uh, desired folder give the name of file name or you can save i just click on wait for time depend on internet connection when it downloaded save it will automatically save on your desired folder so this is your save high resolution 4k ultra hd google earth image of your ai of interest area of interest desire photograph so this is google earth graphic interface image you can uh, mail this scene you can export this or you can zip this scene this particular area of interest okay the be best part of google uh, google earth is that is a time scale this time scale tool you can uh, see your past image also uh, even in this particular ganga catchment area i can see almost three decade old images and compare what is the change we can see in technical term change detection what is the change 
between uh, one decade to two decade or entire decade so here you can see uh, sometime uh, catchment is uh, changed the river course uh, change sometimes sand more appears sometimes water appears some here we can see some um, settlement or some man made feature appear in this in this scene we can see the flood damage all entire area the sand the sandy area appear more uh, the water drainage area come very low uh, again so uh, the intensity the depth of uh, river ganga is high and low so this is a multiple dimension information you can get from this uh, the time the uh, time scale uh, tool and easily compare your data this is cloud uh, when the image capture this particular area that time uh, cloud appear maybe this is uh, the the image is a month of june and july so this is a very important a very or you can say a uh, dynamic information in a 3d view normal when we download a satellite image of landsat or uh, isro list 3 list 4 list 5 image or avs we cannot uh, information such information in a this is a very uh, visual visual view of and uh, you can see a real uh, change now i'm going to drag you dali uh, this is a dali and i'm going to show you a very uh, common uh, common exercise uh, distance between two places so i'm just uh, focusing a particular place where we put uh, information on google Earth that is from this to this i want to go so this is uh, just fit i'm just choosing a proper area basically you know, normal mobile user use google map for this application but you can do same thing similar thing in google Earth, google Earth also so i'm just type typing uh, ISBT Delhi to ISBT Dehradun and click to get the direction it will just uh, take up some time read the entire and use the algorithm or just suit or show the entire area so this is the um, main shortest route Delhi to Delhi ISBT to Kashmiri Gate to ISBT Dehradun. This is the shortest way. This is via Noida, Gaji, Gajibat, Mirat, Samli, Chutnalpur, and Dehradun. So I can use the scroll bar and zoom and so yeah, in a 3D way. This is a route. This is the best, shortest route. Here we can see in a different aspect, different views where it can go the right way. Uh, just wait. I'm just uh, change the settings so you can get more information. I'm just removing the grid so the main road uh, visual easily and put the basic layer that is the city layer now you can see the road information properly from where it passed so it uh, it uh, come from Gajibad, Muradnagar, Mohanagar, Merat, Mujaffanagar, Chutnalpur and then reach to Dehradun so this is a very basic step for a beginner expert uh, have a different aspect for this exercise but this is a very basic inf information and you can use in a different ways so if you are a traveler or explorer so you can save this route uh, or uh, as a jpg or save in your mobile so simple step just go to the file option go to the save save as option select where picture quality that is resolution you know, 4k ultra hd and save your desired folder so uh, when you save the name uh, uh, always keep in your mind that uh, never give a space between two words 
always use underscore uh, for give give any name suppose i i uh, suppose i want to give my file name is uh, raj uh, dehradun so i just want uh, so i'll give raj underscore dehradun so uh, in database it will not uh, uh, delete or it will not corrupt uh, you can easily find out okay so after save the google earth pro sd image now you can see this is safe image you can zoom up to 100 percent and the quality of the picture is excellent you can see the road between Meerut, Mujaffarnagar, Saranpur, Roorkee via Chhatrapur, Dehradun you can easily uh, use this uh, satellite image even uh, you you can use or you can put this uh, uh, jpg image on your gps device and you can track your way using uh, geo points okay now uh, i am showing you a, uh, how to uh, find a short distance within the city earlier i show you uh, uh, two different city that is delhi or uh, dehradun distance now i'm going to show you distance between uh, two points within within the city so i am just typing isvt in delhi and railway station new delhi just click on the direction look it will automatically suit this particular area so this is the distance you can see this is the best possible shortest way uh, this time uh, they uh, google earth use a uh, road over the uh, station that is wrong but uh, you can use uh, access a uh, nearby shortest way so in this video uh, you learn or you watch a very basic but very important applications or features on google earth pro with 3d view so friend stay with us for next video on google earth pro with a specific topic uh, more correct more accurate point to point with more user friendly okay friend catch you later bye take care